What's up, everyone? It is April 22nd, 2015, and I am JJ Zacharyson, the editor-in-chief at NumberFire.com. I'm here to talk a little daily fantasy baseball with you. Uh, we got a really interesting slate tonight. Last night was kind of interesting. Uh, if you did not have exposure to the Reds and Brewers game, you probably weren't happy, at least in tournaments. Uh, it was kind of a hard game to predict and see that happen, so... That's kind of you know what you get with uh, with with daily fantasy baseball sometimes, unfortunately. So uh, you know last night uh, that happened. Uh, Gio Gonzalez, who was our top pitching option, threw six scoreless innings. They were uh, the Nationals were up one nothing in the ninth inning, and then they gave up a run in the ninth inning, and Gio lost his win. That's just that's what happens when wins are part of daily fantasy baseball scoring, and it's a it's a shame because. Uh, I'm sure a lot of you, including myself, could have cashed a little bit more if Gio would have gotten that win, uh, but that's that's just what happens. Um, so, uh, you know, overall, it was a decent night with our picks. Uh, we did have uh, Edwin Encarnacion, uh, who homered twice, is, is one of a, uh, the higher uh, listed, uh, ranked, sorry, ranked is the right word, higher ranked hitters, uh, in, according to our algorithm, and he hit two bombs, so... You know, overall, it was a decent night. It was just a really strange one with, uh, with, with the Reds and Brewers doing what they did. Uh, tonight, you finally have a really top, an obvious top pitching option in Clayton Kershaw. So we all know what Clayton Kershaw can do. You know that he's capable of striking out 10 batters whenever he gets out there. Uh, but the one thing that I, that I do want to focus on here uh, is the matchup. So he's playing the Giants in San Francisco. Uh, he does get a little bit of a park shift. He's going to be pitching in more of a pitcher's park. Uh, and, I, you know... The Giants lineup isn't anything special either. So you put those two things together, and obviously Clayton Kershaw is a top play, regardless of, of his price tag. You you need to pay up for him, especially in cash games. Uh, the one downside I think that people are going to look at is the fact that he's going up against Madison Bumgarner. And obviously, because of that, there's a chance that he might not get the win. But one thing to keep in mind with Daily Fantasy Baseball is you really don't want to chase wins. Wins inherently is a flawed statistic, and chasing them... Uh, in daily fantasy is just not a good thing to do. It's not a smart thing to do. As we saw last night, it, it's completely out of a guy like Gio Gonzalez's control, a pitcher's control, uh, whether or not he's going to get the win. And, you know, obviously those those four points are very important, uh, but at the same time, you know, you, you can't really control that. Like, look at things that you actually can't control, like strikeouts, and look at the matchups and the pitchers uh, in the park as well. So Kershaw is definitely the top option. I think David Price is probably the second best option. They're both going to be really expensive, but I'm going to have a hard time using Price whenever Kershaw, you know, is only is only a couple hundred dollars more. Uh, you know, if you want to look at Price as more of a GPP option instead of going with Kershaw, that's fine. Um, if you're looking at more of like a punt at the pitching spot, you know, I'm not really into punting. Uh, a pitcher spot just because it's the most important position in fantasy baseball. And if a guy like Clayton Kershaw's on the mound, you're going to want to use him. But I don't mind Vance Worley against the Cubs tonight. Now, he's very, very cheap. Um, and the one thing, you know, he's, he's pitching in PNC Park, which is big. Obviously, the Cubs lineup has a lot of power, and it's, it's capable of doing a lot, as we've seen over the last week or so. Uh, but they're still striking out at a decent rate. They're they're the eighth worst team in terms of strikeout rate in, in Major League Baseball. I think you put that together with a guy like Worley, who's who's probably going to hover around that seven strikeout per nine range this year, and he he comes out as a decent option. He's I think our sixth best pitcher tonight, which given cost makes him a pretty good value. So you know I wouldn't necessarily look at him again as a as a cash game option. I'm going to pay up a pitcher because that's what you should do in daily fantasy and cash games, especially. Maybe in a GPP, throw him out there as your second pitcher and see what happens. But again, with cash, I would just stick with Kershaw, maybe David Price as well. Um, hitters. So a uh, guy that I'm definitely targeting tonight is Joey Votto. He's been killing the ball this year, just absolutely destroying it. Uh, you know, you can't expect 16 runs again from the Cincinnati Reds, but they are facing a right-handed pitcher uh, in Jimmy Nelson, which is good for, for Votto. Votto, over his, over his career, has a 419 Woba and a 235 ISO against righties. Um, it's, he's in a hitter's park more so than what we saw, than, than what he's used to in Cincinnati. Um, and like I said, he's just destroying the ball. I think that he's, he's definitely going to be a very popular option from a, from a high priced hitter's standpoint. Um, if you do want to go with an alternative at first base, Edwin Encarnacion is definitely uh, a play once again. The one thing that you really want to look for in daily fantasy, uh, is, is power because home runs matter a lot. Extra base hits matter a lot. 
uh, they're going to matter a lot more than, than a single. You know, a single is the same amount of points as, as a block. So, you know, you want to get that power, and Edwin Encarnacion uh, will give you that each and every night. So he's definitely uh, another top option as well. And as I say uh, that you should look for power, the other guy that I want to talk about is H Jose Altuve, uh, who clearly does not have power. He's five foot five, and he's not going to hit many home runs. But at the same time, uh, he's going to be facing a lefty pitcher tonight. And when he faces lefties, he crushes them. He has a 440 Woba and throughout his career against lefties. Or last year, he had that against lefties. And he batted 414 against lefties last year. Jose Altuve is a monster against left-handed pitching. You're not going to get the power. So I don't know if he's much of a GPP option as much as he's a cash game option because you're looking for that floor with Altuve. Obviously, any player can give you an O for any night just because that's the variance of baseball inherently. But at the same time, I think there are players like an Altuve who will give you that high floor that you can target in cash games because it's kind of what you're looking for. Um, some cheaper guys that, that are that are uh, algorithm likes a bit. Uh, one guy is Dustin Ackley. Uh, they, the two, are going to be facing a righty. And the last three times that they faced a righty, he's batted either first or second in the Mariners lineup. Uh, they get Roberto Hernandez tonight. Uh, and he's a cheap option. You know, he doesn't have great numbers in general. Uh, but he's a, he's a very cheap option that you can throw in your lineup and hope that he, you know, since he's at the top of that lineup, if they score some runs, he's going to benefit in some way. Uh, another guy is Chris Owings, who's just a very cheap option, not a great bat. He's facing a righty. He is a righty bat, uh, so you're going to look at that and say, oh, why am I going to play Chris Owings whenever he doesn't have the platoon split? Owings in 442 career plate appearances actually has reverse splits, so he does favor right-handed pitching more despite the fact that he's, he is a right-handed batter. Uh, the D-backs actually are projected to score like four and a half runs according to Vegas tonight, so I think getting some exposure to them is not a bad idea, and I think that Owings is a very, very cheap way in doing so. Just make sure that you know where he is in the lineup. So, you know, he could bat as low as seventh in the lineup, and if he does there, I'm probably going to stay further away from him. But if he's in that two spot... Um, I'm, I'm definitely open to using Owings uh, as, as a nice punt play. So him and Ackley are two guys. And then Ike Davis, who's always in play when he's facing righty pitching, I think, uh, is, a, is a good, cheap option. So just to recap, you have Ike Davis, Chris Owings, Dustin Ackley, Evan Encarnacion, but I like Joey Votto a little bit more, Jose Altuve because he's facing that righty. And then as a punt pitcher, Vance Worley. As the main pitcher, Clayton Kershaw. Maybe if you want to differentiate a bit, go with David Price but I'm going to focus mostly on Clayton Kershaw because it's Clayton Kershaw. Uh, if you're looking at some stacks tonight, there's a decent amount of them that I think that you should get some exposure to. Uh, you have to still consider San Diego and Colorado since that game is in cores and the pitchers aren't very strong. Like I said, I don't really mind Arizona tonight because Vegas seems to like them a lot against uh, Gallardo. Uh, and then both Toronto and Baltimore should be in play. And then I like Oakland against Jared Weaver um, tonight. And you can usually get Oakland bats pretty cheap because of, of the, all the platoon splitting that they do. Uh, so that's it for today. If you guys have any questions, go to numberfire.com. Check out our question section. Check out the Q&A app that we have. Uh, the primer should be up there as well uh, for this, uh, for, for Daily Fantasy tonight. Uh, and good luck tonight, everyone. Hopefully Clayton Kershaw delivers for you.